Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Cheese Stuff, and welcome to my new show. This is uh, first first look, first look. That's it. I almost forgot the name of my new show. <coughs> this is gonna be a new series that we're gonna be doing here on the le on our uh, on our channel for Let's Plays, named spot. Cheese Stuff, and uh, we are going to start with uh, Wasteland Workshop for Fallout Four. And they've added a lot of stuff. And we're here in Sanctuary right now. Oh yeah, also, Automatron. Probably should have started with Automatron. But, uh... First look's gonna start with this. So that's my Ada right now, by the way. Um, you know, it's whatever. Uh, I'm going to turn this radio off. Because copyright laws, you know. I don't want to get a strike. Um, kind of ignore some of the things... Such as, you know, uh, you'll see some textures popping in and out like that bush. Um, I have a lot of settings turned way down, uh, just so I can play the game a little better with fraps running. Anyways, with Wasteland Workshop, we have come across many new things that they have added. This is a $4.99, uh, $5, uh, DLC. Uh, it came out, uh, <laughs> what day is today? It came out on, like, the 12th? Right? Came out yesterday. Today's 13th. I'm recording this today on the 13th. Came out on the 12th of April 2016. And it added so many things to work with. Uh, one of them being this new building material, concrete. And we'll actually go through here and go through some of the stuff that, some of the things that came with it. So we would go, uh, you would go to structure, or structures, and boom, right there, there's a new one, concrete. Also, that rounded wall, isn't that nice? Um, within it, we've got, uh, different floors. You've got, oh, I need some concrete. Um, ironically, I just built, um, the last, uh, bit of what this video is going to be, which is over there, past the Brahmin on the roof that I'm sure everybody knows of by now, because everyone has experienced the same thing. I'm, sh I'm, I'm certain there's no way I'm the only one. Uh, in fact, I know I'm not the only one. And I'm sure all of you also have experienced the Brahmin on the roof. But, anyways, um, I'm going to have to, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to have to use some console commands here. Um, and so, we're going to do that right now. Uh, and we can give ourselves a thousand of it. By the way, that's it right there. Um, if you want to know what concrete is, um, it's 00106D99. Um, no, oh, I'm carrying too much. What's up, Piper? What's she doing? Trying to kill us, but the You're right, the Commonwealth does never lack for excitement. But you know what's not exciting? Being over encumbered and walking down the sidewalk. Really fucking slowly. I just need to get right there. Right, yes, that, that robot's name was Rapetron, if you read that, uh, subtitle down there. Alright, so we're gonna store all the drunk. And now let's get back to the video, why don't we? Alright, so we've got concrete floor. It's got some steel in it, as you see there. Another concrete floor, this one has a, like a chain link mesh, basically, so you can actually see through the floor. This one is a concrete uh, like foundation. Uh, this one, um, you can actually sink into the floor, which comes in great handy if you have like uneven surfaces that you want to build on. Then we've got another big old steel one here. Uh, this says upper, so I guess it's, yeah, it is actually stacked up a little higher than that. I believe it's two of them. We've got a corner piece too, because you can do corner walls. And you got a little piece and, you know what? We got this angular, we got this triangular uh, piece here called angle. We go into walls now. Uh, we've also got the walls, which are fantastic because they're stackable on top of each other. They really connect pretty well. You can sink them down into the ground. You can do all kinds of stuff, and they kind of really snap together pretty well. But we've got your concrete wall. You've got concrete wall with a doorway. Ugh, the way you got this one here with a window. It's got this like mesh. A chain link mesh inside of it. You have this window here, which I used on my building here. You have a half wall, 
which those come in handy as you see this one right there beside my thing and there's these little pillar posts which depending on how you snap your walls together you'll have a little gap on the outside and put these pillars in or you can just go inside and be like you know it'd be cool having a pit hold up it was green for a second. Uh, you know, well, it doesn't want to place right now, but uh, yeah, you got the pillar posts here. Um, we've also got the angled walls, which have little angles on the end, so when you snap them, you can have, you know, like, the angles for that angled floor piece, even. Uh, we've got the angled doorway as well, which is nice. You can put, you know, you can make your house, you can put a doorway on, like, an angle here. Uh, it's super cool. And then another one of my new favorites, the curved uh, concrete wall. I like that. And also, like I said, all these can be buried into the ground, and they all snap together really well. Roofs, you've got two different kinds of roofs. You've got this one here, which is, uh, you know, it's you know, opaque and all kinds of shit. Then we got this one here, which also has a chain link mesh on it, because that really comes in handy for, like, the arenas that you can build. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, added, they've added uh, two new stairs. we got this one here. Uh, concrete steps, they're kind of like steel uh, and concrete, and then we got these two steps here. Um, we're going to actually go into this building here and explore a couple of the other things that have been added to the Wasteland Workshop. Um, these lights here on the wall even are new. Uh, the stoplight, as you can tell, is new. Uh, in fact, we will, we will get into that. Oh, also, uh, I forgot to mention there's rails. Uh, you got long rail, you got a curved rail, you got a short rail, you got a short rail with a rail in the middle of the rail with another rail across the rail. A lot of rails. Um, but, what I was going to get into uh, is uh, we got some decorations here. Uh, floor coverings, I don't actually think there are any new, f no, there are no new floor coverings. Uh, wall decorations, uh, we got mounted creatures, that is new and it will create it'll take wood cloth and something that is dropped by the creatures so we've got mounted bloat fly mounted blood bug uh we've got uh, hold on i gotta get out of the fucking way here mounted brahmin heads mounted cat head that's right mounted death claw head mounted dog head mounted feral ghoul head there's one right there i apparently have a skull that's what's needed for that mounted glowing one Head, mounted gorilla head that is I guess a bit of a uh, oh also I don't think this will show up the gorilla head I don't think the gorilla head will show up unless you have completed the Institute thing uh, there's the death claw head right there um, then we've got some more things here mounted hound head my alert claw my alert hunter head my alert king my alert queen uh, mole rat mongrel Rad Roach, Rad Scorpion, Rastag, uh, a Rad Stag, blah, Stingwing, eh, Yao, Why? Um, all of these, uh, you can actually uh, trap a lot of these animals as well. Um, I don't think there's any new paintings. Uh, there's, yeah, everything looks, I believe all that's kind of still... There, there are a lot of fucking paintings. I don't even feel like going through all of them. Uh, we got these letterings here. Uh, ammo, armor, ammo, yeah, chems, components, all these things. You can like, put above your chest. Um, be better if I got to put it on the wall here. There we go. Uh, like if I do that. Um, there you go. See, it says storage. It's kind of like the letters like you can go to Home Depot and buy. And you can actually go right here and they have all of your numbers. And then all of your letters so you can get all of you know, just everything you need to write whatever you want. All your dirty words. Like cunt. We're gonna keep that there. That's just gonna be there from now on. Um, what else? Uh, we've got some other new things here. We've got non-powered light sources, such as this campfire here. I'm gonna put one of these out here. It's daytime, so it doesn't really matter too much. But uh, put a campfire down, and that'll actually uh, light up the area right there. We've got candles. We got a cat bowl that's new. Um, we've got this fire barrel. Uh, we have oil lamp, oil lamp posts. Uh, these 
Oh, here's one right here. The wall sconce, that's new. Uh, these things were added, actually, I believe, in the 1.4 update to Minecraft. Or, whoa, to, ha, <laughs> to Fallout 4. Called it Minecraft because it's like, you know, it's taken from Minecraft. But anyways, uh, what else we got? We got new things to power. Oh, there's, you're looking at one right there, actually. This is, over here, you have the fusion generator. Um... Takes a few things, you can plug it all up. Uh, apparently, you can just turn it off, turn it back on, you can't take the fusion core out of it. I had to test that for a second. I haven't tested it yet, but it produces 100 power, so it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, it takes a lot of shit, though. I right, will tell you that. A um, couple other new things that they've added. Uh, did they add anything in the switches? No, nothing new in their switches, but we got a lot of new lights, including we got this little cage, a uh, wall light, uh, we've got lamp, uh, we got street lights, because, you know, you want to make your, you want to make it look right again, we've got traffic lights, we've got table lamps, table lamps, ceiling lights, fucking wall lights, more wall lights, fancy wall lights, more fancy wall lights, hold up, let's get a spot, here we go, uh, string of lights, this, uh, here I'll turn it sideways, cause I can't just put on stuff, but you can hang that, and you have like a bunch of little light bulbs hanging, uh, off of it, we got these fluorescent lights, you can hang over stuff, uh, the subway light here, which is a horizontal, uh, fluorescent light you can mount on the wall. We've got track lights to put up on the ceiling, track lights to put up on the wall, track lights to put on the ground. That stuff was already there. Um, miscellaneous things that they've added. Uh, we've always already had this, which is your light box. Um, you know, it's that big, but now we've got mini light boxes. And you can stack them all up, and about four of them is the equivalent to one of the regular boxes. So you can get a little more intricate with your workings. Uh, then we have this, which is a cycling light. I guess that's like a Philip Hue bulb, I'm going to assume. Uh, we have a oversized uh, Nixie? Nix? 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 Nix a two? I don't know what the fuck this is or what the fuck it does. I'm just going to put it down. Uh, and we've got a de decontamination arch where you walk through it, uh, and you lose all your rads. You've probably walked through a couple of these throughout the game. Um, they are pretty awesome to find. Uh, oh, and then we've got neon. We've got these letters, which I have added a few. Uh, one inside of here on my wall. Cheese stuff, of course. And, uh, we got it in the green lettering. And then over here, you saw it in the beginning of the video, but we'll just check it out one more time. And that is Let's Play on the wall here. Um, hold on, there we go. I can just do this. But the, these letters come in white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And then we've got an open sign. They say signs, and you just get this one open sign right now. That's kind of all that's here. Uh, nothing new added to defense resource, however. They have added a f uh, this. It's a water pump. I don't have any screw. I have one screw. I need four. But the water pump, uh, it's powered, and you plug it in, and it gives you ten water rather than this one, which has to be placed in the water to actually work. So they give you a little bit of lean little leniency there. Uh, also, we've got this. We got a garden plot. You can put it on a roof and shit, and you can plant shit anywhere. Shit. Now we get into what we really wanted. This is where the Wasteland Workshop gets very interesting. Cages. We've got small cages that'll help you capture things like cats and dogs and mole rats and hound, mutant hounds. Now all of these will, uh, yeah, these are dead death claws, by the way. We'll get into that in a second. Here's actually one of the cages from the back. Um, there's a death claw cage right there, and 
Yeah, when you bring this, it will attract whatever, whoever you whatever you catch. It will attract more of them to try and free their friends. Uh, and it's kind of random on which ones they will be. So there could be legendary ones. There could be glowing ones. There could be all kinds of things. There could be good little dogs, little happy little puppies, little happy little kittens. Actually, I don't think there's any aggressive cats, but uh, little happy little kittens and all of that. And uh, can all just show up. Uh, there's medium cages here. Uh, we can catch you can catch feral ghouls, gorillas. There you go. Uh, gunners. See, I actually have the stuff for that. Uh, free guns and caps and ammo. Uh, an insect cage. So we catch all kinds of bugs and shit like that. Uh, raider cage. We need jet for that. And a super mutant cage. It's a Brahmin meat for that. Then we get into the large cages. The large cages, you can catch Brahmin, Death Claws, Myrlurks, Rad Scorpion. Oh yeah, so Rad Scorpion's good in this one. Uh, Rad Stags, and Yao Guai. Um, you can catch all kinds of fucking creatures. And then there's also these. These are the arena pads. There's your blue team, and there's your red team. Pick red. Red team rules. Red versus blue. It's way cooler. Uh, anyways, uh, then there is oh yeah, power doors. That's a new thing too. Um, you just oops. You just hit the switch. If I can fucking get to it, there you hit the switch and the door opens. Uh, and we will get to that in just a second. That is my little arena that I built. And then oops. And then. There's also a beta wave emitter. The, be the beta wave emitter, which requires Animal Friend rank 1 and Wasteland Whisperer rank 1. I don't have either of those. Um, it caps, uh, ugh, creatures released from cages while this is turned on will be non-aggressive towards you and your settlers. Uh, so, like, if you catch something in a cage, such as, like, a death claw, um, it'll, uh, it'll be, it'll be your friend. Uh, right now it's not, because I don't have one of those. And then here's the quitting time siren, which calls nearby settlers to relax when turned on. Now, that's all the new stuff. Now it's time to put some of it in action. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to go over here. Piper, shut the fuck up. We're going to come over here with our six frames a second. Quitting time siren's hit. Everyone should stop working. Rapetron had a cheerful beat. Anything I can do? I saw that, so everybody should get ready. Everyone will be happy. Now we're gonna open this real quick, just so we can go inside and I can give you a quick tour of what's going on in here. In here we've got a Deathclaw cage that is ready to be opened and released. I have yet to see what Deathclaw is inside of it, so this will be a surprise for both you and I. Then we have the blue tie- the, the <laughs> I had a stroke. The blue team, which I have somehow opened their door, and then the red team, which is over there. So what we're going to do now is close this door, head upstairs, and see why the fuck the blue team's door is open. Which one is it? I don't remember. Well, it's open for some goddamn reason, so we're just going to open the red team's door. And... And the line of sight, they can't they can't see each other. So hold on. They're supposed to uh you can you can set I see how you're looking at me. Not you can set your buttons. settlers to the uh pads. And they should if they are they whoever is assigned to whatever pad will be You, I need you sure. to go. Are you kidding me right now? Go back down. So when you assign your settlers to the pad, it will make it so that they uh, want to fight each other and they will 
become hostile to whoever is on the other color. Now, for some reason, this fucker is not leaving. He looks angry. He's pointing his gun. He's on the red pad. This lady over here, she's not pointing her gun. She's on the blue pad. What the fuck is your problem? As honest as honest work gets. I'm going to... I killed her. I killed her. God damn it. Well, that's not what was supposed to happen. Look, and he's cheering. He thinks he did a fucking good job. That's alright. I'll set a new challenger down here for him. Your job's not over, you little bastard. Who's up here? I'm feeling hey. well. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. You're my doctor? Cool. I'm not interested in what the fuck you have to sell me. Alright. I'm gonna pass. We're gonna click on there we go. Oh you work at the clinic now, but you won't for long, motherfucker. Cause you're gonna come over here. I got a fucking thing for you to do. You're assigned to the blue one, motherfucker. Alright. So now hopefully he will go to the to the blue one. He's not sitting up. Oh, there he goes. He's about to go downstairs. This motherfucker. I don't know what he's doing. But I'll tell you what. If, it, if these assholes do not get in here and start fighting, I'm just going to have to open the death claw door. And that's how it's going to be. Holy shit, that frame rate I couldn't even handle. Look down for a minute. You look down, the frame rate goes back up, and you can play the game at a normal rate. Alright. So he's not... I need to shut this door. I forgot about shutting this door. Alright. They're locked in. They're sealed into the arena. And we're going to try this again. I don't think they're fighting. So guess what? It's time to release the Death Claw. Where's the oh, oh? I see a Death Claw. There he is. Oh, he's a savage Death Claw. Oh, everybody's getting mad at this one. Everyone's firing at him. Come on now, come on now, fight the people in the arena. He's trying to run out. Alright, we're gonna jump down here with him. Oh shit! Ow. Motherfucker. Hold up. Hold up, shit got real for a second. Oh god. Oh. Oh! Oh! He's like ignoring me, kind of. Motherfucker! He's gonna unload into him. We'll watch my frame rate drop as I just unload into his face. Alright. And so that's Wasteland Workshop. <laughs> and. This was. This oh shit. Yep. So uh I guess I guess both teams lost. Which makes me the winner? Green team wins. I hope you enjoyed it. This was uh uh first look in Fallout 4's new DLC Wasteland Workshop. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and click on the loser of the blue team to uh, to subscribe. Um, you know, not all of us can be winners, but he definitely wasn't one of them. 
and uh, click on click on his, the contents of his of his uh, his dead body here to watch some more Fallout 4 videos that I've done. Enjoy.